what's up guys Tanmay here for simple snippets and I'm back with another video tutorial on scientific calci tricks. So if you've been following this channel and if you've seen the number system conversion tutorial, you must have a good idea about the number systems and how to perform different conversions between the different types of number systems. So but in those videos we actually had to calculate and do some paperwork as well to get the final answer or to get the conversions done. So in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you a trick wherein you can use your scientific calci to perform those conversions with the click of a button, wherein you actually don't need to do any paperwork. So the calci model that I am using is 100 ms Casio, but uh, the functionality is pretty similar to different models of Casio calculators. So I'll also show another Casio calculator as well in this video. Right now this model is 100 ms as I said. So let's start just turn on your calci so the only thing you need to check is the mode on which your calci is on currently so currently my calculator is on complex mode so in order to change the mode you click the mode button and you can see there are two options then click it again and as you can see we have to select the option number three that is base now as you can see you got a sign of small d which represents decimal value so you can change between these values. So currently, as you can see in the question, we have to convert 15 in decimal to binary octal and hexadecimal. So since our calci is in decimal mode right now, I'll just write or type in 15 and press equal to button. So 15 is a decimal number, as you can see, because it is represented by the small letter D over here. And in order to convert it, you just have to select the four options that is decimal, hexadecimal, binary and octal. So for the first one, we have to convert it to binary. I'll just click this button. And as you can see, the small character change to B and we have the binary value of 15 that is 1111. Similarly, if I click the octal button, it will show me the octal value of 17. And if I click the hexadecimal number button, it will show me the letter F. Since in hexadecimal, there are 16 different values and we have 0 to 9 and A to F. And 15 in decimal represents F in hexadecimal. So this was conversion of a decimal value to any of the other different number systems. Now similarly, if you want to convert any other number system value, for example, you want to convert a binary number to decimal you can do that as well I'll just show it quickly I just have to change the base and currently it is hexadecimal as you can see over here so I'll change it to binary first then I'll type in the number I'll type in 1111 in order to cross check I'll press equal to first and now in order to change it to decimal I just have to change the base value so I'll click decimal and you can see we have binary number 1111 is equal to 15 in decimal which is equal to f in hexadecimal which is equal to 17 in octal so this is a way in order to convert between different number systems and it's a quick way to cross check whether you have calculated the values correctly or not and i'll just change the calci now and show you how, how it's done in the another model Okay, so as you can see now I have the Casio 991 ES model. So the process over here is also pretty similar, but just to give you a demonstration. Okay, again over here, currently we just need to first set our calculator to the base mode. So click on the mode and you can see the option number four, which represents base. So click on that. By default, it is showing me a decimal DEC value. So whatever I type, it will be in decimal. So I'll type in 15. I'll click equal to. Now I just need to convert it to other three values that is binary, octal and hexadecimal. So these are the four buttons which you need to keep in mind in order to switch between the different number systems. So to change it to binary, I'll click this button. And as you can see, it's showing a long number, but uh, we are only interested in the four digits starting from the right. So it is 1111 and you know the 
zero value in the MSB is irrelevant. So it's just because of this format of this Calci, it's showing that values. Similarly, if you want to change it to octal, I'll click the octal button, which is shown as OCT. So as you can see, it is 17 in octal and the hexadecimal value would be F. So if you want to actually change a hexadecimal value, for example, I'll type in F and you can see the values of A to F in these buttons starting from here. This is A, this is B, this is C, this is D, E, F. So let me just clear them out. Now let's see if we can convert a hexadecimal value to decimal value. I typed in A, I pressed equal to and now I want to change that hexadecimal value to a decimal value. So I just click decimal and yes, there you go. A in hexadecimal is equal to 10 in decimal. So that's how we can switch between different number systems at the click of a button. If you have a scientific calci just to cross check or cross reference your paperwork calculations. So that's it for this video guys. I hope you got the trick and you can actually go ahead and try it out yourself so that you get a good hold of it and you can actually use it in your examination just to cross verify your answers. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and if you have any queries, you can always put them in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Peace.